In the immediate aftermath of the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, immediately people began to speculate who did this? Why did they do this? What was the goal? And I think for a lot of people, the obvious answer is, well, it obviously has to be a Democrat or leftist. To me, that was what I assumed was 90% the likelihood. Even though obviously Democrats typically are not into guns as much and that sort of thing. And historically, that's not how political violence has worked out. That was still my assumption. But now we're getting details. And 20 year old Thomas Michael Crooks, it is weird that assassins seem to always have three names. I don't understand that historically. Uh, is the guy. Um, he was shot and killed by Secret Service agents uh, moments after it began firing. Uh, and by the way, look, I do not often in the wake of violence like this like to overly focus on the individual. But I think that obviously there are very significant political stakes to this. So we're going to acknowledge some of it. There's a lot of video going around, by the way, of how he was able to scale the building. The fact that attendees at the rally had been trying to tell people he's there. He was obviously met by a cop at some point who tried to stop him and then was shot at. So there's a lot going on there. But um, he did use an AR-15 when he tried to kill uh, Donald Trump and did kill one individual, injured several others. There was uh, material for two explosive devices in his car, materials for another at his home. We don't know what his plan was for that. He was killed almost instantly after he began firing, but clearly he had at some point planned to use bombs as well. Maybe he intended to target more people in the crowd, we don't know. The video will continue in just a moment, but first I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com slash team and become a member today. Uh, the gun was purchased by his father six months before the attack. It's unknown um, at the time whether the gunman had taken the weapon with or without permission from his father. These are the sorts of details that we're gonna need more time before we'll know. And some of the details of his own background have come out. There's not as much as there normally is in these sort of situations, but we know he went to a community college that he graduated from in Allegheny County. He had an associate in science degree in engineering science. He worked as a, at a nursing and rehabilitation center as a dietary aide. And he had a membership at a nearby gun club for at least a year that he apparently was drummed out of because he was such a bad shot and so dangerous with the way he handled weapons that people feared for their safety when he was around them. Um, that theoretically, that lack of ability with the gun might have been the thing that saved Donald Trump's life in the end. And by the way, you can see in this one shot what's believed to be one of the bullets passing by him. Miraculous that someone got that shot at that exact moment. Um, and so that said, everybody's wondering, who is he? What's the motive? And we do not specifically know the motive yet, but we do have some indication of who he was politically. It is confusing, but we're gonna work through it. Uh, investigators have tried to track down his online behavior. They are trying to crack his phone right now. He apparently was active in some sort of Discord community. We don't have details on that yet. Um, but we haven't found any indication yet of a political motive. Uh, he was a registered Republican. He donated to a progressive cause in 2021, apparently on inauguration day or right after. His parents were registered Democrat and Libertarian. Um, he has not, no manifesto has been found just yet. He was not under FBI investigation. He didn't have a criminal history. Um, but now that he has been identified, some of the people who knew him are starting to talk about who he was. And so one of his classmates said, uh, he definitely was conservative. It makes me wonder why he would carry out an assassination attempt on the conservative candidate. I think that's confusing a lot of people. He shared an American history class with Crooks, this individual, and remembered a mock debate where their teacher made students stand on one side of the classroom or another to signal their allegiance. Quote, the majority of the class were on the liberal side, but Tom, no matter what, always stood his ground on the conservative side. That's still the picture I have of him, just standing alone on one side while the rest of the class was on the other. And other people have sketched out an image of a guy who had been a loner or a bully, kind of weird. Some people are saying he was nice, but there are these clues. He is not what some might have hoped in the immediate aftermath of the shooting he would be, some sort of like Antifa activist or BLM organizer or something like that. Um, but Francesca, with those little breadcrumbs, what do you make of this? I mean, I have to say like in every, shooting, um, but I think particularly in this one, I am curious about this gunman. I'm curious about what motivated them and why they would see, they would think it was their only recourse. Let's say they didn't, he didn't like Donald Trump, that he would see it was his only recourse to do something like this, right? And like that, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what conclusion to draw from that, but I'm like, that is, 
not good. Um, but also, if he's a registered Republican, he was always to the right of every issue. Look, you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to wonder why this guy might have said, I'm gonna take history into my own hands. We see the boost that this is giving Donald Trump. Maybe this helps him. Call me crazy, all right? But I'm not the guy who did the shooting. This is the kid who did it. Whatever the motive was, I feel um, sorry a little bit that this person felt like they had to do this, right? And mm -hmm. kill the guy and severely injured two others in the process. So, yeah. I mean, it, here's the thing, John, because it doesn't fit a he was a crazed Democratic narrative, right wingers uh, will simply make it up. They'll simply say that that progressive organization that he donated $15 to, even though apparently reportedly it really had more to do with whether Biden should pardon <laughs> Donald Trump than whether you support progressives like the squad or whatever. Um, put that aside, they will make this about the left supposedly. They will make this about mm -hmm. Joe Biden. They will make this about the radical We'll have that, yeah, and they we're gonna have that in just a little bit. We're gonna talk about that, but they certainly will not talk about guns. They won't talk about how our country is flush with things and automatic weapons like the AR-15, that it is the leading cause of mass shooting, the leading gun in all mass shootings. They cannot talk about that even when that gun comes for their god emperor, Donald Trump. I know, that is odd. Yeah. Which is just incredible to me. Shouldn't we all be on the same page here? Shouldn't the Secret Service, shouldn't the cops, shouldn't you know civilians all be on the same page that we want to get guns out of the hands of everyday Americans, especially these kinds of high powered weapons? Yeah, I don't think he would have been able to fire off those eight rounds had it been a different weapon. But again, I'm not an expert, but it was a, it was yeah. a matter of seconds there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's an obvious question. Why is it that he wanted that one? Why did he want that gun? Should he have it? Would everyone at the rally have not been safer had he not been able to get it? Um, I think that's a very understandable question to ask. Um, and look, you're right. It's gonna largely going to be ignored. Um, I, my gut says if this guy is some sort of loner who was bullied, it probably is a thing of this will put me in the history books. We're mm -hmm. in the middle of a contentious election. It mm -hmm. doesn't make sense politically, but the person clearly is insane. Um, and so that is my fear. And and maybe we'll find something out. By the way, uh, PB Cupcake had said, why is it pointed out that he has a Discord? It's not valid. No, no, I'm not saying that he has a Discord is valid. It's that he has a Discord. So theoretically, they can find out more about what he believed in the communications on Discord as a platform. It's nothing about the platform, it's just that that is a place theoretically they could find out more about him. The same as him having a phone is not relevant, but he had a phone and they're trying to crack it to find out more about him. That's literally all that I'm saying there. People are trying to find out more about the motivation. Um, and, and my final point on this will be, it's very weird that people are like, this is being looked into as a potential assassination or terror attack. What else is it supposed to be at this point? He shot at a political leader, presidential candidate. It's an attempt at assassination. He killed people in the crowd, civilians who are exercising their political rights. That's terrorism. Like he may not have had some grand manifesto goal or something, but that's what it was. It wasn't a mis it wasn't mistaken identity. It wasn't a tiff. This was political violence. And I get journalists are going to be you know careful about the, how, they, how they word things and everything, but I just find some of that to be very weird. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?